Find the mean and the standard deviation of the sample data summarized by the following frequency distribution. So here we have what is called a grouped frequency distribution. In a grouped frequency distribution, you don't know exactly what each of the individual data elements are. Okay. However, I do know that there are six data values that lie between five and three, or between three and five, I should say. They could all be threes, they could all be fours, they could all be fives. We don't know what they are. Could be a variation on those. Okay. So because we don't know exactly what each one of the individual data values are, we can't find the exact mean and the exact standard deviation. We can only find an approximation. Now the way we're going to do that is we are going to find the midpoint of each one of these classes. Then we are going to use the midpoint to represent each one of these individual data values represented by these frequencies. So instead of saying, okay, there's one data value between 0 and 2, we're going to say that there is one data value that is the number 1. Here we'd say there are six data values that are the number 4. Okay, so what I recommend doing is adding a third column, label it midpoint. Now I'm going to call it x because x is going to represent each of the individual data values that we'll actually put into our calculator later. So in the midpoint, you just find by taking each of the bounds on the class, so the lower bound and the upper bound, and dividing, uh, adding them up and dividing them by two. So you're essentially just finding the average of these. Okay, so the midpoint here is going to be zero plus two, zero plus two divided by two, which is just one. These are pretty easy midpoints to find. Okay, so I don't need to do the calculation for each one. Oops, sixteen. Okay. Alright, now that we have each of the midpoints listed, these are going to be representing our values for x. So what we're going to say is we have one value that is 1. We have 6 values that are 4. We have 10 that are 7, 7 that are 10, 0 that are 3, 13, 12 that are 16. Okay. So what I need to do now is enter this into my calculator. I'm going to go to stat and then edit. Now I have some stuff in here that I don't want, so I'm going to highlight L1, press clear, and enter, and well that was L2, so highlight L1 now and press clear and enter. Okay. Alright, so what I'm going to do is in the first column I am going to write each of the data values, which in this case are our midpoints. Okay, so I just do 1, 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. I'm going to go over to L2, and in this uh, L2, I'm going to put the frequencies. Okay, so 1, 6, 10, 7, 0, and 12. Press enter on the last one. Okay. Now that I have the frequencies and the midpoints put into my calculator, I just need to have the calculator tell me what the mean and the standard deviation are. So all I need to do is hit stat, then go over to calc, one bar stats. Now I put this into L1 and this column into L2, so I just need to tell the calculator that the information is in L1, so I hit second and then the one key, that'll give me L1, then comma, second, and two, that'll give me L2, and then I just press enter. Now this is going to tell me the mean and the standard deviation. Now um, the mean is going to be represented by x bar, so the mean Now, of course, this is a rounding here, and um, always follow the rounding rules set by your instructor. Now, here are two separate values for standard deviation. Now, this is going to depend on whether you were doing a sample or a population. In this case, we were working with a sample, so we need to use the one with the S here. Okay, now if it said population, we would use sigma, but in this case, we're using 
samples, so it's S. Okay, so it's 4.84. Now um, I recommend to always double check and make sure that your N is equal to the sum of all these frequencies here. And yes, the sum of all the frequencies is equal to uh, 36, which is equal to N. So that is correct. And also, don't forget that you can find other important information here below N.